looks like there might be a way out under all of these cannonballs. Wow! Oh, these are heavy. Wow! There, that does it. All right, we're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy, and this is Lutha. My name's Grotto. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. We've been working on the window bars a little bit, but we didn't manage to break them. Freddy and I will find you a way out of here. Great. I really miss Calico seaweed pancakes. They were so thin they'd fall apart if you breathed on them funny. Is that good? It's delicious. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here before you can see. The cat sat on the hat and smashed it flat. I'm not sure I could say that at all, but thanks. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get the hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Maybe we could find a way to yank those bars out. I think I can see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we're going to have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this wicked hook. Do you think it belonged to a pirate or something? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. reach those bars. <gasps> this should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy. 
Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. What do we do now, Moray? I think you should give yourself up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow, like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody from the town, it seems. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved in the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught me and Luther, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you arrived. He just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do, but I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? Was it you, the male snail? Say now. No, it wasn't him. He was stuck because his wagon had broken down when it all happened, remember? Oh, yes. Well, who then? Is it Cousin Calico? She could have arranged to have her own hogfish rustled. Why would she want to do that? Uh, for the insurance money? I haven't got any rustling insurance. Oh. Who is Mr. Big? Was it Stella from the Soda Loon? If she has a rustling business on the side, that could explain how she can afford to give away fizzy drinks on the house. Oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And fizzy drinks are a lot cheaper than you think. Really? Really? Yes, it wasn't Stella. She's an honest businesswoman. Okay, but then who's the mastermind? Mr. Barker, you've had some financial problems lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Uh, aha! <laughs> uh -huh. We also read your IOU, even though you tried to tell us it was a poem. You stole the hogfish to pay back your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <gasps> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the bubble gum. You had a really small stock for a bubble gum salesman. And I started to wonder what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish was still chewing it when we got here. Yeah, Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You should all be ashamed of yourself. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. 
We don't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers are brought to justice. Yee-haw! How are they getting on with their immunity service? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How are they getting on with that? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work. But when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home Where the buffalo roam Where the deer and the antelope play
Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. Do you really want to quit? 